Good morning, party people. It's Friday again. Time to start the vlog. Another early one. Week number two at the new uh, day gig. So get ready to do that. But time to start the day. <clears throat> Let's go. That Friday Friday shot. All right, kids. Off to work. And then coming back, we got a big weekend on Paul Tap. We're going down to Laurel, Maryland for the Bope wedding. So my man Bope went to high school with me. We're going to hang out with him and his new gal, Laura, and party with those kids this weekend. So we'll see how this goes down. Well, kids, Friday afternoon, and um, we're rolling. Look at that. Top down day. Haven't had one of those in a long time. But came back home to a lovely surprise. I don't know if you can see it out there. Mikey strikes again. He mowed my lawn. I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was going to do it. I came home. I was actually pretty excited to come home and mow my lawn. Come out here and uh, screw it up a little bit, but he came mowing my lawn already. That guy. That guy. I got to watch this kid. He's out here doing things. Anyway, stop by the store, grab some margarita stuff. So we're going to make margaritas tonight and do a little Cinco de Drinko. So hopefully you guys are having a good evening. Good morning, kids. It's Saturday. What's going on? And we're up. We're grinding. It's about 10 o'clock. Been up for about four hours now, getting things ready. Getting ready to go down to the big boat wedding today. So I just got finished loading up the car, checking on things, and we're gonna try a new lighting scheme this season. Usually in the past for like weddings, I do like the big totem poles and things you've probably seen on my website and here on my YouTube channel. If you scroll down to my earlier videos, you can see the big totem poles. Really cool, really awesome. They just take up a lot of space and they're kind of cumbersome to load in, load out. I gotta take my big trail and everything. Most places don't have enough parking, so. I'm going with the smaller setup, going back to the old school like T-bar type deal with the four lights on top. And tonight I'm gonna run a disco ball underneath to add a little extra effect. And I think eventually I'm gonna add on scanners also to kind of give a little more pop. We're gonna try to run those differently a little bit today and see how it works out, you know? You don't really know it until you try it, until you test it out, until you see what's going on. So that's what you gotta do. So we're gonna find out tonight. Welcome up tonight. I'm working for my friend Bope, and I like I've known him since high school, so I know he's chill. So if the lighting doesn't look completely on point, like he's not gonna care. It's not a big deal. Yeah. So getting that ready, and getting all the gear ready, got all the sound in there, everything's packed up. I'm gonna get ready to get out here in about an hour, head down to Marlin, and get this party started tonight. I am excited. Welcome to wedding season, kids. <laughs> Touchdown, we're in Hanover, Maryland. Yes, here at the Hilton Garden Inn, which I will say is not the top of my list of the Hilton brand hotels. Cause I mean, it doesn't seem like it's anything more extravagant. It's supposed to be a nicer hotel. It, the decor is nicer, but it's not anything better. I'd much rather have a Homewood Suites or even a Home Two Suites if I have to go that far or something else. But anyway, either way, I digress. Anyway, I'm here, I'm glad to be here, and I'm happy, and gonna get some food, chillax for a little bit, and then we're gonna head over to the wedding and get ready and get set for tonight's big BOPE event. So, it's gonna be hashtag a BOPE wedding. Alright, I tell you guys, because I'm very excited about this, this is like the highlight of my whole trip here. I found out they had a Kaaba down the street. If you guys have not been to Kaaba, you should check out Kaaba, it's like... Mediterranean Chipotle is the best way to put it. I guess that's the way to put it. Mediterranean Chipotle. So I got my, I built my own bowl. Got some uh, pickled onions in there, some chicken, there's rice, there's greens in there. Uh, the whole nine. Pretty good for you, pretty healthy. And definitely one of my favorite places, like whenever I got one or near a place that has a Kaaba, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get some Kaaba. So I'm pretty excited about this. They so got a Kaaba, eating that right now. Gonna uh, chill out for a little bit and get ready to roll. And they also have a Wawa here. So you know what's gonna happen late night, kids. We're doing some Wawa. 
Let's go. Uh, kill myself. All right, kids, here it is. So we are just about set up and ready to go. And this has been kind of a situation because the load in here is kind of long. You have to go down the hallway, down another hallway to get to where we gotta be, which kind of makes for a long load in as far as getting things into the actual room where you gotta be. Then there's another outside area where we're doing the ceremony. So I gotta set that up. So needless to say, like, I'm 30 minutes out. I haven't gotten dressed. Normally I'm ready to go by now, but like, it's been chaos. So, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go park my car and get ready to get dressed and just do it to it. Here's a recap. Good time tonight. We had, we had a party at the Bob Wedding. And a little after party afterward. Killed it. <laughs> it, was, it was a good time as always. Everyone was out there. Everyone was partying. Doing a good time. A little rusty. I'm not going to lie. On my end. I feel like I'm a little rusty on the whole wedding vibe thing. Because it took me a little while to get people out there and dancing. But they were out there and dancing. So it was a good time. At the same time, like I said, the bride's happy, the groom was happy, and that's what we got to handle. I went back to I went to uh, Wawa tonight, grabbed some dinner, and I'm back here in my hotel, hanging out, having a good time, just kind of chillaxing because we were at the after party. But I was like, yeah, I'm spending a lot of money on nothing that's really important, so I gotta get up out of here. Either way. Time to chill, time to relax, and uh, go see Brody in the morning. So, I will see you guys in the a.m. Boom. Morning, kids. Sunday morning. Uh, just kind of getting up. Crazy night last night. Good times. Had a party in a situation. All right. I need to get rolling. I got to go see Burley, and then Megan's looking for me, so I got to go back up to PA. And... I think we're going to go hit the grocery store and uh, do some other things. Get ready for another busy week. Yeah, because we're back on the road tomorrow. or well, not tomorrow, but next weekend. So I got to plan my week out, figure out what's going to happen so I can keep this train rolling. So much happening so quick. Anyway, it's not over. It's Sunday fun day, kids. All right, kids, check out time. It's now time to move our way up out of here. But, you know, I got to give you guys a room tour. So let's start from the door and do it right. All right, so coming in, we got the little uh, mirrored uh, bathroom. Nothing 
too amazing. It's a, it's a bathroom. It's cool. Microwave. Refrigerator. Hold on. King size bed. Check out the view. Not too bad. If you look over there in the distance, you can actually see Arundel Mills. Bang. Old desk area. Not too bad of TV. Not too bad. Got a little chair over here. All in all, not a bad suite. Like I said, Hilton Garden's not my favorite, but it's still a pretty solid hotel. So, I would give it mm, 7 out of 10. Let's go 7 out of 10 on this bad boy. 7 out of 10 on this bad boy. All right, let's go. All right, here's the test you on. We're back in Beeville. Yep, good old Beeville. Had to go visit the Burley. Just uh, got done visiting Charles. My, my bro Charles. Uh, obviously, you're making no video of that. I keep that on the hush hush because he lives his life in secret. Not really, but he doesn't like being on camera, so I don't put it on camera. Either way, picking up some food right quick and then head over to Burley and see what he's got going on before I get back up to PA. All right, kids, we're rolling out. Burley's good. Everybody's good. Brought them some food because, you know, I gotta feed the boys when I come over here. They always need some good eats. Got to see my neighbor over there, the Isleys. Boop, there they are. Got to see the Isleys. So there's always, there's always a good time. And now I'm going to head up, go back to uh, M-Town and go see Bay. She's waiting on me. She's been patiently waiting on me all afternoon, but I've stopped everywhere, but everywhere I'm supposed to be. So let's go up north, kids. All right, kids, Sunday night, we're back here at the house. That banging here in the background is Megan drying her shoes because apparently there was an incident over the weekend and it involved vomit and I didn't want to get into the details of it, but that's what I heard. So that's why the shoes were in the dryer. Try to get my laundry done so I have something to wear this week and then work on some dinner because I'm hungry. Boots. All right, kids, time to bring this video to a close. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Shouts to Laura and Chris. Congratulations to you guys. Shouts to the whole PB crew that came out to party with us this weekend. Catching up with folks I hadn't seen in quite a while. Next weekend, kids, or I say next weekend, next episode, we're back up on the road going out of the Eastern Shore to do the Totally Wedding with my girl, Maddie Mads. So it's going to be a party situation as always. You know what happens when I hang out with Maddie Mads. Yeah, stuff like that happens. So you never know what's going to happen next week, kids. Hopefully you guys will be back next week to stick around and check out that episode. It's going to be dope as always. As always, you want me to come rock your party, you can check me out online right there at djermycowboy.com. And I will see you guys next time, all right? Two up, two down. Peace.